In a Summer. matter of seconds. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, friends. This is um, our great opportunity to present to you from the East West Sanskrit Institute, Dr. Ramkaran Sharma giving us a class on the Vedas. So today we are going to look at the beginning of Rig Veda Mandala 1, Sukta 92. And that is uh, dedicated to Dawn, that is Usha. And uh, the Rishi to whom these mantras were revealed is uh, Gautama. And uh, the The, uh, from the beginning, four uh, mantras are of Jagati meter. Jagati meter is a 12 syllabic meter. So, uh, the first mantra is uh, all right, first uh, three padas or uh, uh, feet of that mantra, but the last one um, has only 11. So to complete that, we have to read Yanti as Iyanti. So that will complete uh, following the Zephyr's law as we have been explaining again and again. So let us chant this first verse of that Sukta 92 of first mandala. Eta Utya Eta Utya Ushasa Ushasa Ketu Makrata Ketu Makrata Purve Adhe Purve Adhe Rajaso Bhanu Manjate Rajaso Bhanu Manjate Niskrinvana Niskrinvana Ayudhani Vadrishnayo Ayudhani Vadrishnayo Nishkrinvana Ayudhani Vadrishnava Nishkrinvana Ayudhani Vadrishnava Pratigavo Pratigavo Arushir Arushir Yanti Matara Yanti Matara Pratigavo Rushir Pratigabho Rushir Iyanti Matara Iyanti Matara Om Pusha Saha That is Dawn Of course the Sayana the commentator First of all he interprets everything in plural. Ushasa is from Ushas, uh, first case ending plural, Ushasa. But uh, he says at the end that according to Yaska, that is the author of Nirukta, this plural here is honorific plural. It doesn't have the sense of plurality. It is Usha is one, the dawn, the presiding deity of dawn is Usha. So Eta, Eta is these. Of course, uh, I, I, uh, I will uh, 
also translate uh, in plural because there the, the plural is used here. The, these and tya. Tya also is, uh, it has the same meaning. These and these. Who, who means definitely. So these and these ushasaha, that is these dawns or presiding deities of dawn, ketum akrata, that is ketum uh, akrata. that they have they have made light ketum is light and akrata is made so they have made light because they have made light they have uh, they have revealed light so Rajasaha. Rajasaha means Rajas is the word for space. As you have uh, you uh, every morning and evening Bhuva Swaha Vayave Idam Namama. So that Bhuva is space. So, so Rajasaha this is sixth case ending singular that of the space Purve Ardhe in the eastern half eastern half of space Bhanum that is Prakasham Ajate that is they reveal they reveal uh, light in the in the eastern half of space. Purve ardhe rajasaha bhanu anjate. Anjate is uh, of course it is singular here, but it has the plural sense. Uh, in Vedas, uh, the the regularities of classical Sanskrit do not always work. So, Rajasaha Purve Ardhe Ushasaha Bhanum Anjate. So, these presiding deities of dawn, they, they reveal the light in the eastern half of space, Rajasa. Is it clear, the first two lines, to everybody? Mm -hmm. Or is there any question? Um, Akrata, Dr. Sharma, is that um, Vedic version uh, Vedic, of uh, Vedic uh, Kru? Should it be Kru? Uh, it, it is uh, Mantre Ghasa Varana Shabridahad Vrit Krigami Janibyo Le. That is the Sutra. From that sutra, um, in classical Sanskrit, we have Akarshi, Akarshtam, Akarshu. So that Chli is there. But, and because Chli is there, so Chli becomes So. And then we have Akarshi. Or, uh, or in the Atmane Pada is Akrita. So here it is Akrata, that is uh, Mantre Gasa Varana Shabridaha Dvrich Krigami Janibhyo Leh. That sutra is there. Um, you may be able to give the reference. I am very sorry, uh, I do not remember the references. The sutras I remember. <laughs> it starts with Mantre. There was one gentleman 
in Pune. Um, his name was, I am forgetting his name, formerly he used to remember the references of all the sutras of Panini. And if you ask him, what is that sutra, such and such chapter, and such and such number, such and such father, so what is that sutra, he will tell you the sutra. And if you say any sutra, he will give you the exact reference. Athvalekar, Athlekar, what is his name. And, but uh, after some time, uh, the last I got this uh, miracle from him was sometime in 1975, while I was in Darbhanga. I had specially invited him. And uh, Darbhanga people were so much impressed with him. And, uh, but now he has left that. I don't know why, why he has left it. He's still in body? He is he's still alive, but uh, he, he does not have that miraculous, that miraculous practice. Mm. Now he does not have. Mm. So the first half we have done, Eta Utya Ushasa Etum Atrata Purve Adhe Rajaso Bhanum Anjate. If you mantra you got it, <coughs> mantra ghasa varana. Yeah, ghasa varana. Um, Sabridaha the bridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Krigami jani bhu le. Mm -hmm. That is the sutra. And this is specially for, for Vedas. Anuvritti is lug. Lug. And yes. the number is um, ashtadhyayi 2480. Oh, 2480. I see. Relating to the verbs ghas, what is that second? Print is not good, Dr. Sherman. The vara? What is no, to no, be crooked? Ghas is all right. Ghas uh, and then? Ghas, ghas is of ad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ad becomes ghas. Uh, agasat. Agasat, it is um, in uh, lung and uh, um, lung, sonor. So, ghas becomes and uh, so so that is ghas and then the kri, the root kri is also there. Krigami janibhyo le. So that's all right. Dr. G, is that ghas from uh, ad to eat? I mean ad, ad to eat. To eat huh? in, uh, in perfect you have jaghasa. Mm -hmm. Jaghasa and uh, in, uh, in uh, and in uh, Aroadesh it is Agasat. Mm -hmm. Agasat. Mm -hmm. Long Sanor Ghasli. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. Mm, that's right. So this is Akrata. So, um, so long uh, tree has gone, and then all remains. <coughs> so then akrata. And then let us come to the second uh, second half. Niskrinvana ayudhani va drishnava. Drishnu is one who can stand attacks, warriors. Warriors, when they come to the battlefield, they are very, very, um, uh, they possess the maximum amount of fortitude. They are ready to, uh, ready to attack and ready to be attacked severely. That is why they are called Drishnu. Drishnu is that word that those who have fortitude. Drishnu. So 
From that you have the word in Sanskrit, drishtaha, somebody who is drishtaha, who is, um, who can, um, who can, who is bold, who is bold to, uh, to attack and bold to be attacked. <laughs> so, so drishnavaha means the warriors, warriors with fortitude. Ayudhani, Ayudhani, Niskrinvana Eva. Niskrinvana, it is a peculiar Vedic form. First of all, Nish is to be in classical Sanskrit style, it is Sam. The preposition Sam, Samskurvana. <coughs> Sanskurvana, that is processing, as the warriors processing their weapons, processing their <coughs> weapons, Ayudhaniva, Drishnavaha, who go, who march, <coughs> as the warriors march processing their weapons. So, uh, Gavaha, that is, Gava means so many things. Gava, uh, the word Gau <laughs> is not only cow. Uh, the, the word Gau stands for the earth also for the rays of, of the sun also the, the gava, the word, the word gau is used for indriyas or the sense organs also the word gau is used and that is why govinda you have, govinda, it has double meanings, one is that the Sri Krishna is very much fond of cows, so Govinda he he wants to uh, he wants to um, have cows more and more. Govinda, who who Pindati ga, and uh, Govinda also means he is the uh, presiding deity of all Indriyas all sense and motor organs, because sense and motor organs on their own, they cannot function without consciousness. So Krishna acts as consciousness, as, as an inspirer of these insentient sense and motor organs. That is why, uh, that's why also he is called Govinda. He is the presiding deity of all, all Indriyas, sense and motor organs. So here Gavaha, that is Gamanashila, it has the sense of those who want to go and the rays of the Usha, the rays of the presiding deity of dawn, they are Gamanashila, that is by nature, they go everywhere. So, Gava and Arushi. Arushi means, uh, of course, it is um, shiny. Arushi. Arud Vishat Ajantasya Mum. Aruntuda. Aruntuda, the word Aruntuda is used for uh, if you if you um, if you um, uh, just afflict the vitals of somebody with your words so uh, it has the sense of vitals also aru so arun to the so the manu says that Narun to the Sya Dartopi. 
even if somebody somebody afflicts you somebody um, somebody uses painful words against you don't don't try to offend his vitals no arun tudasya dar to be so but here arushi means the vital what is the vital uh, what is it that is vital for us uh, when we vital also has something to do with uh, with life so what is the life force it is not darkness it is light so it is also aru word is used for light so arushi that is shining shining these um, these rays of the presiding deity of uh, dawn they are and they are also makara it is a very good word we use for of dawn or the presiding deity of dawn makara makara is the mothers mothers of mothers of everybody everybody um, everybody respects the presiding deities of usha as their mothers makara um, the commentators have tried to confuse this in so many ways but better we we take it as mother usha as mother i think that is that is the best interpretation so and it is um, sayana also gives this but apart from that he also gives some other other interpretations but better we we, we are not guided we let us not be confused about <coughs> word makara and makara an english word mother and uh, uh, latin word also matri matri is very much there and the uh, ancient greek also has matri so let us uh, let us accept it as makara mm -hmm. and prati yanti in vedas the the prepositions are not supposed to be supposed to be interrupted so supposed to be prefixed with interruption in vedas uh, they can be they can be uh, used with interruption also for example in uh, in vedas agachati you will say tvam griham agachha but in vedas you will say a griham gachha that also is all right a griham gachha <laughs> so so here also prati is there prati goes with yanti that they go every day so therefore niskrinvana ayudhani vadrishnava as warriors with immense amount of fortitude uh, and uh, with their uh, while processing their weapons they every now and then they go to the battlefield so these matara these mothers the presiding deities of usha they go while shining arushi uh, and matara mothers and gava that is by nature uh, they move and the rays Rays with their rays, with their rays, processed. You can you can bring that niskrinvana ayudhan ni eva in, in, in this uh, ushas also. 
that every day they they process their rays and then they they give us the benefit of their rays first of all in the eastern then also they spread and uh, as you will see also in the western direction so this is nisprinvana ayudhani iva drishnava drishnava ayudhani sanskurvana iva arushi matarah ushasah गावह प्रति यंति प्रति यंति means every day here प्रति यंति means that every day they come they come and go so uh, unless you have some question in the second line Dr G in the reference to um, Matara to the dawn is that like the mother gives birth to light of the day? That's right. That's the right. of what that is. Yes, they are the they are the uh, uh, they are represented as mothers of light. Mm -hmm. Mothers of light. Mm -hmm. The sun comes later on, mm -hmm. but uh, it is for the usha uh, to pave the way for the sun. To come to take care of it. Okay. Dr. Sharma? Yes. Could you comment on the fact that the word is plural? What is that? Could you comment on the plural form? Oh, so the plural form, of course, Yaska uh, uh, of uh, Nirukta, that is the only text available on uh, etymology, Vedic etymology. Uh, he says, that here the plural is used uh, it has the plural has the singular sense but plural is used uh, to make it more honorific to to honor the usha because in uh, uh, in sanskrit tradition if you are addressing some VIP, for example, somebody is uh, Rashtrapati, so Rashtrapati Mahodayaha, you will say, address, address him in substance. You will not use the singular. So, but it will have not, uh, Rashtrapati is not uh, plural, no, uh, it, it doesn't have many Rashtrapatis. It is, uh, for example, Obama is Rashtrapati here. So, if you are addressing Obama, then you will use the plural. Obama Mahodayaha. <laughs> Shraddhayaha, respectable. Obama, Mr. Obama, Your Excellency, Mr. Obama. But, uh, but uh, in some scripture you will say Obama Mahodayaha. Oh, they are plural. So uh, this Vyaska uh, uh, takes it as honorific plural, not not uh, actually uh, plural sense, but because Usha is one and only one. So shall we proceed? Little question hmm. only, Dr. Sharma. You were saying that prati yanti is idea of every day going here. So here, in this generally, person. you would think prati dinam. Uh, prati dinam yanti yanti. That is the sense here. Uh -huh. Prati yanti um, in um, classical Sanskrit, if it is uh, if it is used, for example, I will return to ashrama, uh -huh. so I will be. Prati Gamishyami. Mm -hmm. okay. I will return to the ashram Prati Gamishyami. But here it is Prati Yanti 
that means pratidinam yanti. Uh -huh. That's that's what it is. Okay. And uh, in uh, so that uh, mantra is not yet here. Uh, there is one mantra uh, in this theme. Puna, punar jayamana purani. Mm -hmm. That is one of the um, one of the uh, I should say epithets of Usha. Usha the dawn. Puna, puna jayamana. Being born again and again, the old one. Puna punar jayamana purani, the old one being born again and again. So that is one of the epithets of Usha. So Usha is a very, uh, very positive, uh, positive deity of the Vedic deity. So let us do the. Uh, Second one. So, if you have no question, further question, then uh, we may go to second one. So, I, I think that everybody has understood everything or everybody has not understood anything. These are the two options, <laughs> two alternatives. So, I take it that everybody has understood everything. I think everybody has understood everything to the extent that they can think of a good question. How about that? So that our capacities to ask good questions has been reached. That's <laughs> some of us have understood some of it. <laughs> so number two. Udapaptan. Udapaptan. Arunabhanavu Brita. Swayujo Swayujo Arushirka Adukshata Arushirka Adukshata Arushirka Ayukshata Arushirka Ayukshata Akran Mushaso Akran Mushaso Vayunani Purvata Vajanani Purvata Rushantam Rushantam Bhanum Bhanum Arushi Arushi Ashishrayu Ashishrayu Udapattan Aruna Bhanavu Dritha Dritha, the word Dritha in classical Sanskrit generally means in vain. Vritha. Okay. Uh, that is useless. Something is useless. But here Vritha has the sense of without any special effort. Vritha. Vritha has the sense of without any special effort. Udapattan Aruna Bhanava Udapattan This is uh, nothing uh, nothing peculiar. Even in uh, even in classical Sanskrit you have the the average form of Pata is uh, a paptat, a, a 
part that. Reference is given here 7419. 7419 patat pum patat and ut ut patati ut patati means one goes up ut patati. So uda patat uda patan would be even in classical Sanskrit it would be all right. So so it is Udapattan Aruna Bhanavu Bhrita Aruna Bhanava. Bhanava is a race. It is seven four. It is seven four nineteen. Uh, nineteen. Yes. Seven four nineteen. Patapun. So Udapastat Arunaha Bhanavaha. Vritha. Vritha means without any effort, without any artificial effort, on their own. Udapattan, that is, they have gone up. That's, that's what. Aruna. Aruna is Red. So red bhanava, the race, the red race of of the Usha, of the presiding deity of dawn, have gone up without any special effort. Udapattan karuna bhanavu bhritha. And Brithai here is not in vain. I too thought earlier in my childhood that Brithai is, uh, this word will have the sense of um, uh, in vain. Because in, uh, in uh, classical Sanskrit also, Britha means, uh, Britha means, um, um, uh, is uh, in vain. It is Britha. But here Britha means without any effort. So Udupaktan Aruna Bhanavu Britha. And they have, this is a metaphoric uh, hymn, Swayujaha Arushi Kaha. Ayukshata. That is, they have, they have yoked the shining cows, which are that are fit for being yoked. Swayujaha. So that are fit for being yoked. Swayuja is a Vedic, special Vedic form. Swayuja means those are fit to be yoked. 
So they have yoked the Usha. Usha has yoked the the red cows or the uh, bright cows in the in the chariot. And you could say also Ga, as I told you earlier, that Ga also means rays. So they have they have revealed, they have joined themselves with the rays, with the rays that are fit fit to be joined. <coughs> And uh, there are two things to be noted here. In the later tantric literature, the red color is considered to be considered to be um, uh, of great significance uh, in so far as the fruitfulness of uh, meditation on color is concerned. Uh, the, some of the one of the Jain communities who who practice meditation on colors generally, you must have come across the meditation on colors. In uh, in Saundarya Lahari also, <coughs> colors are very important. And uh, if you if you meditate on a red color, um, the entire space being covered with red color, you will you will get whatever you want. You will um, uh, that's what it says. Of course, I have not tried it as such, but uh, people may try it. Dr. D. Gurdji used to have us uh, do Tratikam staring at different colors. I see. And we do it Green Gulch in the morning meditation. Sometimes we have the I cards see. here. I see. Very I powerful. See. I see. It's very powerful. Yes, it is, it is there. Um, and it says that he can, he can uh, bring the entire what to speak of uh, women whom he likes. He can <laughs> he can control the entire earth, the entire world, if one meditates on a red color. The entire space full of red color. So this is all the women he likes and the entire universe? <laughs> <laughs> it's looking like very comprehensive. What, what it is. Yes, <laughs> that's what uh, that's what Daniel Larry says. So for you, for one of you uh, who are who are bachelors, uh, we are unfit now for that. <laughs> <laughs> so Udapatan Naruna Bhanavu Vritha Swayuyo Arushita Ayukshata. So they the Ushas have uh, yoked the um, the rays or the cows that are red and shiny. Uh, they have yoked that, and they are they are they are proceeding further. Akran nushasu vayunani purvatha. Here purvatha is as usual, as usual, as usual, as earlier, uh, Ushasa, these, these uh, presiding deities of dawn or the presiding deity that is Usha, she has made Akran, again it has come, um, Vayunani. Vayunani means paths. Paths. They have made the paths. The, because formerly the paths were not clear. But now they have 
paved the way for every path to be uh, to be worked on. So Akram Nushasa Vayunani Purvatha. Purvatha means as usual, as earlier. And Rushantam Bhanum Arushi Ashishrayu. Ashishrayu means they took shelter these the with the rays with the rays in the form of cows the usha was going further going and going and going and ultimately they have combined themselves with the sun so they have become one with the sun <laughs> so it is also poetic very much poetic. Akran Bhanum Arushihi. Arushihi is shining. These Ushas, the, the, uh, the Usha, the dawn, has Ashishrayu Bhanum. Here Bhanum is, Bhanum is the sun. So they have they have taken shelter in the sun. <clears throat> but uh, taken shelter means, as, as it has been interpreted by Sayana also, that they have become one with the sun. So here, the, the Shankara non-dualistic philosophy also comes. That Usha is, Usha is the presiding deity of the time, uh, of the of the light, and when there is light, the the individual self becomes one with so uh, sava must be as in in Isho Panishad you you see or everywhere you see tatvamasi soham so these ushas which were born on the earth they have they have gone up and they have combined themselves they have taken shelter in the sun that is to say they have identified themselves with the sun so bhanum arushi arushi is uh, is a shining and those shining rays, they have Ashishrayu Bhanum. Ashishrayu, that is, they have taken shelter uh, in Bhanu, in, uh, in the sun. So, this is what Udapaktan Aruna Bhanavu Vritha Swayuju Arushir Ga Ayukshata. Akran Nushaso Vayunani Purvatha Rushantan Bhanum Arushi Ashishrayu. So it is all Ashishrayu is also a regular formation in Vedic and Rushantam means shining. Shining Bhanum the sun. Ultimately Arushi, it goes with Ushasaha. So the shining Ushas uh, or the shining Usha has taken center in the sun, shining sun. So shining is um, uh, individualized, pragmatic I am, and uh, uh, the I am uh, is the, the sun here. May, uh, may be the all capital I am, that is absolute I am, absolute Brahman, absolute consciousness. So this individual I am has become one with the absolute I am, absolute Brahman. That sense is also here. So this uh, uh, this Udapaktan Naruna Bhanavu Bhritha Swayuyo Arushir Ka Ayukshata 
अग्रन्मुषासो वयुना पूर्वथा ऋषंत भानु अरुषी अशिष्य so swayujo we have to read as suwayujo uh, there also this zipas uh, law works so if you have any question on number 2 no question so then we have to go to number 3 archanti nari rafaso na vishti ve archanti nari rafaso na vishti ve samane na yojane na paravata सुकृते सुदानवे सुकृते
दे विष्टि भी समाने न योजने न आपरावतः अर्चन्ति अर्चन्ति मिंस अर्चा इस मेन क्लासिकल संस्कृत आल्सो अर्चा मिंस वर्शिप दे वर्शिप दे स्पेस अर्चन्ति नारी आपसो न विष्टि भी समाने न योजने न आपरावता 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 means up to up to the western half up to the western half of the uh, of the uh, space the the worship archantinari vishtibhi samane na yujane na aparavata archanti archanti nabha archanti akasham spesam how so this is a poetic hymn so apasuna apasa uh, that uh, you have also in matarishwad uh, dhati tasmin nabo matarishwad dhati there also in isho panishad you have apa so apa means action in vedas apa is water and water is the first first visible and usable element gross element you can you can do without fire you can do without wind sometimes your internal wind is there but you cannot go without water so one of the synonyms of water is uh, jivanam jivanam is life and jivanam is also water jivanam is water so apa here means the here also the commentators uh, translate this interpret this as warriors apa apa means the action and apa also means those who perform action so apasa eva that is yuddha karmana upeta purusha yatha svakiyai rayudhai सर्वं देशं व्याप्नुवन्ति तद्वत् एज अप दे दे दी दी वारियर्स विद देयर विद देयर वेपन्स एज इट वाज स्टेटेड इन द फर्स्ट वर्स एज एज विद देयर वेपन्स दे प्रोसीड फर्दर दे मार्च Uh, while uh, while uh, uh, processing their weapons so here also apasah apasah no no has the sense of negative in classical sanskrit it is it is never used having different meanings but in vedic sanskrit no has a very opposite sense like apaso no means like like warriors like performers of performers of action like performers of action apaso no so is it clear uh, now the meaning of now um, there are 
so many, so many verses, so many mantras in the um, Vedas uh, that have the sense of uh, eva of classical Sanskrit, that is like. So, apasuna uh, uh, vishtibhi samane na yujane na aparavataha nabha archanti. Nabha archanti, that is samastam, samastam nabha, they vyapnuvanti, they pervade the entire entire space, they pervade the entire space as warriors with their weapons, they pervade the entire space wherever they go, the successful ones. So, so these, uh, the race of the Ushas, they also, uh, they also pervade the entire space. Archanti nari apasona vishtibhi samanena yujanena ha paravata. Paravata is uh, the western direction and ha is up to, up to western direction also. The final, the final goal of this race uh, is western direction. They go to the western direction. And do you know the original meaning of astang that is used in classical Sanskrit for setting, setting of the sun? Astam in Vedic means, for example, the verse that I was telling you uh, early in the morning. Sumangari Riyang Vadhu. Iman Sameta Pashyata Saubhagyamasyai Dattvaya Atha Astang Viparetana O Gods, you have already come here, so you all give blessings to this, to this auspicious woman. Saubhagyamasyai Dattvaya and Dattvaya means after giving, after giving the blessing in the form of her saubhagya. And uh, then atha astang viparedan. Then you go to your respective homes. Without, without giving blessings you don't go. So astam in uh, Vedic means home. So after spreading east and west, uh, the Usha comes to rest in classical Sanskrit. And in Vedic Sanskrit, it goes home. It goes to her home <laughs> to, for rest. <laughs> yes, you can say so. Even though we know the sun never rests. Mm. Mm, but uh, but it is there. So archanti nari apaso na vishtibhi samane na yojane na a paravata. A means up to up to western uh, up to the limit of western direction. And then what is it? What is uh, what is it? Uh, what is um, uh, what is there that the person who is getting this uh, usha sacrifice being performed? What will he get? Ishang bahanti that carrying lots of food. Ishang. Lots of food for Sukrite, one who has done good work by performing this sacrifice, and Sudanave, one who has given quite a big 
on the radium, with the amount of on the radium to the priest to down away. And who has Sunvate, who has extracted the juice of Soma for you, for you also. Sunvate, Yajamanaya. Yajamanaya is sacrificer. So sacrificer and Vishwa it uh, that is Vishwa it uh, this goes with Ishan. Of course, Vishwam Isham it should be. Vishwam Isham. Isham is uh, Mm. Annam food mm. and it should have been Vishwam Isham, but uh, it is Vishwam is not there. And Vishwam, and uh, instead of Vishwam, it is Vishwa. Mm. And uh, it, it means definitely, without any doubt, the, the Usha. Uh, Usha carries uh, the food item for the for the sacrificer and the sufficient food, not not one type of food, rice, and pulse, vegetables, ghee, etc. 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 everything. Potato. <laughs> potato. Potato also. One question, Dr. Sherman? Yes. Um, the addition I have reads Vishve Deha in that class. Yes, Vishve Deva. De, uh, Vishve Deva. Uh, but here it is Vishve Daha. I'm, I'm just noting that there is. It a... is Vishwa and It. It means definitely. And Aha also means uh, Aha doesn't have any meaning. It is. Uh, it is uh, something sarvam eva sarvam eva isham vahanti uh, sarvam eva and aha also has the sense of eva and it also has eva so definitely this this usha usha is um, Usha carries the food for the sacrificer. The sacrificer who is doing good work, Sukrite. Sukrite is dative, fourth case ending, singular. And Sudanave. Sudanave is also who gives ample on the radium to the priest performing the sacrifice. Sudanave. And Sundvate, who have extracted Soma juice for you also. So, for that, Yajamanaya, Vishwam Kishan Vahanti. So, uh, uh, all, the, all the food items, all the food items she carrying that, she she spreads, she pervades the entire, the entire space from the east to the west. Achanti nari rapaso na vishtidhi samanena yojanena ha paravata ishan vahanti sukrite sudanave vishve daha vishva it aha Yajamanaya Sunvati. Vishwa is Aha. Aha is uh, sometimes Kalu Kila. Aha is used uh, just for for metrical that, that convenience. Is, that is, That's right. Indeed. Uh, yes, it's also. <coughs> so Shall we proceed? A couple of questions, Dr. Sherman. <coughs> yes. On the first line, 
um, Nari, is this Vedic, should be Nari, Nari, Al, Nari, yeah? That's right. So it should be plural, yeah? Yes, uh, so uh, Nari, yeah. Could be in Vedas also could be Nari. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, that also is possible. Nari and um, everywhere it is Vahanti. It should be Vahantya. Uh -huh. It should be Vahantya. And um, yes, and. Um, so uh, everywhere, everywhere you have these peculiarities. So Vishwam, instead of Vishwam, it is Vishwa, and it, it means uh, definitely, and Aha also qualifies that. So uh, the all, all food, all types of food, Vahanti, Vahantya. Yajamanaya Sungvate. So, Dr. Sharma? Yes? On the construction, Apaso Na, where Na takes the classical sense of Iva. Yes. In Vedic, in that Vedic form, does the Na generally, is it a following in clitic generally? In other words, does it generally follow the word? Uh, no, that and, and, and critic is, of course, there is no board here. Mm -hmm. uh, and critic, na. And uh, no. Um, no and na. That is something else. Mm -hmm. And that will come only in the mist or the. It, it will not come better to uh, say it in negative. It will not form part of a sentence. Uh, the beginner, beginning part of a sentence, initial part of a sentence it will not form. But it could be placed anywhere. But that will be, na would be with visarga, na, ours. And no is v2, v2 or of v2 of the two, of us, the two. But for the construction indicating yiva, does the na generally follow the word that it is? That's right, yeah. that's right. It follows the word. Um, it's not used in front of the word. Yeah, so the construction uh, yes, is yes. ex yiva. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, mm -hmm. Agne supaya no bhava sachaswa na swastaye. There are so many, so many examples with na. Um, dritting na. Uh, dritting na suskam sarasi sayanam. Dhritin Nasushkam Sarasi Sayanam. In the interest of, in the context of your croaking frog, the frog is described as a dry, um, dry uh, skin, dry, dry skin, dry skin lying in the, lying on the bank of the pond. It dries dry water bag. Dry, dry water, yes. Dritting in a shushkam sarasi shayanam. So dritting in a shushkam, it's a very good uh, uh, good example of frog, uh, good description. It is like like a like a uh, skin skin uh, full of water. Uh, Water carrier, water container, water container made of skin. What is the word in English? Do you have? It's a, a, a bladder, perhaps. Mm -hmm. It's a water dried uh, water. Water container, container. It's a leather, water it's container. A water bag. Mm -hmm. Water bag. Out. Water bag. Yeah. 
leather 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 water bag yeah leather water bag yeah so it is the frog is lying on the bank of the pond like a dry um, leather <laughs> like a dry leather um, leather water bag because it's dry yeah and that it, construction is dripping na dripping na shushkan sarasi shayanam dripping driti driti is the word driti is the water bag you can also put wine in <laughs> yes yes <laughs> Put wine also, yes. Dripping the shushkan for sarati shayana. So, shall we proceed further? Adipe shanti vapate nritu riva. Adipe shanti vapate nritu riva. Apur rute. Sanskrit word for a bar, but in classical Sanskrit it is napita, napita. But here the, the very peculiar word is used, nritu, nritu. <laughs> nritu is napita, nritu river. That is as as the bar, but. Vapate. Vapate means he shaves. As the barber shaves the hair, so Adi Peshansi Adi Vapate. So the, the Usha does remove the Darkness, Peshamsi. Peshamsi here is dark forms. So, Adi Peshamsi Vapate Nritu Riva. Here it is Iva. Iva is also used. Nritu Riva. And Kapoor Nute Vaksha Ustreva Bajaham. And Usra Iva. Here it is, no is not used, you only, viva is used. Usra means like a cow, like a cow um, revealing the word jaham. But jaham is its uh, breast, breast for milk. So as the cow reveals 
the breast for milk. So, uh, a poor nute vaksha. So, the usha reveals her chest, her chest to everybody. And vaksha means chest is the most uh, uh, significant part of the body and it is the chest where um, where consciousness has its dwelling <laughs> as it is as it is pointed out and uh, the first uh, item in the womb to be created of the body is the chest that you must be knowing those of you who, who were experts in modern medical science also modern medical science also believes that the first item of creation of the body after it starts uh, creation the ovum and and the, the seed. So when they combine and the first item to be created, of course everything is created simultaneously. Uh, but the first item to be created is chest. Usreva Vaksha Apurnute Usha Vaksha Apurnute that is Usha reveals her chest, that is to say light, just like after the, after the calf gets into it or uh, after calf touches it or, uh, or uh, sucks the milk, so as the cow reveals her uh, her breasts. So Usha also reveals her chest. Apur Nute Vaksha and Chyotir Vishwasmai Bhuvanaya Krinvati. After spreading light for the entire entire World. Gaona Vrajam Kyusha Avatama. So, this as like the cows when they come to their cow shed, they recognize it and they, they know that they have come to their, to their uh, shed. So our tamah, so as the uh, as the cow as the cows recognize their their shed where they have their dwelling, so you um, you um, you recognize the tamas the tamas that is darkness. You recognize it and remove it. Avartama. So Usha Avartama. So it is uh, as a matter of fact uh, this. So it is uh, so this uh, you have already uh, got this, uh, this number four 
Adi Tejansi Vapate Nritu Diva. That is like like a like a bad bird. It it, it uh, removes the Tejansi, the uh, the uh, black black darknesses. Adi Adi Vapate. That is it uh, removes. This it destroys and abode nute vaksha usre va vajjaham and as usra usra is the synonym for cow cow so as as the cow reveals her breast so it uh, usha also vakshaha Vakshaha, it is uh, Vakshaha um, um, Apoor Nute. Uh, Apoor Nute means that it reveals, it reveals its Vakshaha. Um, um, Swakiyam Ura Pradesham Apur Mute Tamasa Anachaditam Karoti Swayam Avir Bhavati Ityatta. So it comes uh, and uh, as Usra Gau Yatha uh, Vajjaham uh, Vajjaham Avish Karoti Kathaiva. So, so that uh, Usha reveals its own light, its own, its own chest, uh, and uh, so as as uh, this uh, as the cow recognizes its its set herself and she she pervades the shed she goes herself this is the uh, nature of the uh, of the cattle they recognize their their place whatever it is even if you leave them unattended in the evening they will reach their own space themselves Sometimes it happens that the the bullock cart driver sleeps in the night, and the and the bullocks reach their destination themselves. <laughs> so, so it is. Uh, that's why it, uh, the example given here is cow. So as cow uh, uh, reaches. Our um, tama, it reaches it, uh, its place uh, and it pervades, pervades it. So, um, so the usha is tama um, viava. Um, that is to say, it it reveals it. It pervades, it pervades all places where darkness was there and the darkness is converted into light. So it pervades all places where darkness was there. So that is why we are we are Tama. That is you have spread you have pervaded the entire entire space which was covered with covered with darkness so you pervade all points of darkness so that darkness becomes light darkness itself becomes light <laughs> so usha vyavartama 
So Usha is is uh, in the second line, but it goes with the first line also. Usha adi peshansi nritu diva vapate adi vapate peshansi adi vapate and apurnute usha apurnute vaksha usreva varjaham vishwasmai bhuvanaya jyoti krinvati kavuna vrajam usha avar tama so that that that's how you can bring this usha in three or four uh, uh, at least three sentences usha peshamsi adhivapate dhritu riva dhritu means like a bar but usha peshamsi adhivapate she uh, brings or uh, uh, she destroys the all the uh, black black signs of black forms of darkness and apurnute vaksha usreva vajjaham and usha usra iva vajjaham as kau reveals her breast so usha reveals her chest for everybody jyoti vishwasmai bhuvanaya krinvati and krinvati means after revealing revealing her light jyoti vishwasmai bhuvanaya for the entire entire world entire universe gavu na brajam avar tama as the cows recognize and pervade their shape so usha also pervades the entire earth the entire world the entire uh, entire places of darkness it pervades and so that the darkness becomes light <laughs> it pervades darkness avartama avartama then fifth one
So this is other C is passive. The the light, the light, the shining light, rushat, asya, arti, rushat. Its shining light has been has been seen by everybody. Um, Prati, Prati Adarshi. Prati Adarshi, again, here it seems it has the sense of every day it is being seen. So, Asyaha Archihi Rushat Archihi. Asyaha uh, Rushat Archihi. Uh, Adarshi Prati Adarshi. That is to say, the light of Usha has been seen or is seen every day by people. Adarshi, it, it is passive, passive average of Drish and it has the sense of, uh, sense of present indicative, uh, I mean uh, passive indicative, uh, passive indicative, uh, present. Uh, so it is seen every day, its shining light, its, the Usha's shining light is seen by everybody every day, Prati Adarshi. Rushat is shining. So it is Vitishthate, Vitishthate. Vitishthate means this light, this light pervades everywhere. Vitishthate. This is second sentence in this mantra. Archi Rushat Asyaha uh, Asyaha Rushat Archi Adarshi Prati Adarshi and the second sentence is this light Vitishthate this light stays and this light, this light pervades everywhere. And what it does? Badate Krishnam Abhvam. Krish, Krishnam Abhvam. And it is um, Abhvam. Abhvam is all. All Krishna it badate it destroys. Mm -hmm. It destroys all black black spots. <laughs> that is to say darkness. Abhvam is all. Abhvam Krishnam Badate. So these are the three sentences in the first line. Pratyarchi Rusha Dasya Adarshi. This is one sentence that Asya Ushasaha Rushat Archi Shining Light is seen every day by everybody, which is Vitishthate, which stands, which does not go away soon which Vitishthate and which Krishnam Abhvam Krishnam Bhadhate and which destroys all black darkness. Krishnam Abhvam 
पार्थते स्वरूनपेशो विदथेशु अंजन स्वरूनपेशम सो विदथेशु अंजन एंड चित्रं दिवो दुहिता भानु मश्रे so this is divo duhita divo duhita is one of the epithets of usha this divo duhita this daughter of heaven divo duhita uh, this uh, this slowly and gradually स्वरूनपेशो विदथेशु विदथेशु विदथ विदथा इज द नेम ऑफ द सैक्रिफाइस दिस इज द सिनोनिमस विथ यज्ञ विदथेशु दैट इज यज्ञेशु स्वरूनपेशो अंजन अगेन हियर एजिप एजिप as if uh, the uh, as if with uh, with ajena with swarum na pesho Ajya is ghee, clarified butter. So with with ghee, uh, 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 when uh, you as as with ghee, uh, the the priests perform yagya, they perform sacrifice. Similarly. Uh, similarly uh, they are uh, they are trying to trying to uh, light or illumine the entire the entire uh, the entire uh, world the entire universe uh, and uh, ultimately they 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 become one with bhanum bhanum ashret so divo duhita this is uh, um, the heaven the daughter of the heaven the daughter of the heaven swarum na peshah vidatheshu anja as as the as the priest uh, in the sacrifices they do uh, they do uh, perform their sacrifice and with with ghee uh, with ghee swarum na peshah so peshah chitram chitram anjan so the the form of the world they change the usha changes changes the uh, changes the form of the world of uh, with the, with light because the formerly it was everything was black full of black darkness and now it is uh, now it is as as the as the priests priests uh, change the form of fire with ghee the fire is lying hidden but when they when they offer ghee as oblation then the fire is kindled similarly the um, similarly uh, the usha when it comes it, uh, it the fire is 
line, it is very uh, uh, deep uh, meaning it has. As Andhakara is nothing but hidden, hidden light. It is a hidden light, so the Andhakara itself is revealed as light. So, Swaru Napesho Vidateshu Anjan Chitram Divo Duhita Bhanu Mashret. So, this Divo Duhita, she does miracles, and just as just as the priest of the of the vidatha of the sacrifice swarum na because uh, as with ghee with ghee it changes the form of the form of the fire peshon swarum na peshaha peshas fire peshaha is pesha is form so as the form of fire, it, the Advaryu, Advaryu has of course these days uh, we have no such problem but uh, formerly they had to do something for kindling the fire. So, so the use of ghee that we are also using now uh, this is meant only for kindling of the fire. So as the use of ghee, um, swarumna, swarumna, mm -hmm. like ghee, as it changes the vidateshu, peshaha, pesha that is the form of fire, mm -hmm. as it changes. So, it changing the shape, uh, the, the form of the world that was that was so dark as light, full of light, and then ultimately it is it becomes one with the sun. Anjan, 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 Anjan means. Vidateshu Anjan, as, as the uh, priest uh, uh, priest applies applies swaru uh, the, that um, a part of ghee, so uh, so that that changes the pesha form of fire. Similarly. This Timo Duhita changes the shape of the world from from dark from black to uh, uh, to uh, light, and ultimately it becomes one with the Bhanu, one with the sun. Bhanu is in classical Sanskrit. Bhanu means uh, sun. So this is what Pratyarchi Rushadasya Adarshi Vitishthate Badhate Krishna Madhvam Swarum Napesho Vidateshu Anjan Chitram Divo Duhita Bhanum Ashret. <laughs> this is what it is. Hmm. Dr. Sharma, what is the Ashret? Ashret is from you uh, you have seen already Ashishriya. Uh -huh. So it is here it is Ashrit. So so this is uh, this is not uh, this is not uh, averaged. This is imperfect Ashrit. And Sriya Sevayam and langi baulang chandasi iti shapo luk. <laughs> so instead of ashishriya, it is ashret. And Dr. Sharma? Yes. 
Does Chitra here have the sense of to make beautiful or charming? Beautiful, beautiful, and uh, yes, beautiful. Uh, it will have the sense of beautiful. Beautiful, and it uh, um, it qualifies bhanum. Chitram bhanum pasre divo duhita. This uh, daughter of 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 heaven. I think we are quite good, Dr. Sharma. If you could maybe lead us in them so that we can um, feel the vibration. Oh, oh your, leader is, your leader is calling you, I can hear. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but let us, uh, let us chant the whole thing, the five verses. I should have given that to you staples, Dr. Sharma. Did you come out of order too easily? I'm sorry. No, that's all right. This is Sukataram. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Eta Utya Eta Utya Sasaki to Makrata Ushasaki to Makrata Uve Adde Uve Adde Rajaso Hanumanjate Rajaso Hanumanjate Niskrinwana Niskrinwana Ayudhani Vadrishnava Ayudhani Vadrishnava Pratigavu Pratigavu Rushiryanti Matara Rushiryanti Matara Om Udapattan Udapattan Karuna Bhanavu Vritha Anabhadavodhita Swayuyo Swayuyo Arushirka Ayukshata Arushirka Ayukshata Akran Mushasu Akran Mushasu Vayunani Purvatha Vayunani Purvatha Rushantam Bhanum Purushantam Bhanum Arushi Rasishrayu Arushi Rasishrayu Archanti Nari Archanti Nari Rapaso Navishtibhi Rapaso Navishtibhi Samanena Samanena Yojanena Paravata Yajanena Paravata Isham Vahanti Isham Vahanti Sukrite Sudhanave Sukrite Sudhanave Vishvetaha Vishvetaha Yajamana Yasumvate Yajamana Yasumvate Adipeshamsi, Adipeshamsi, Vapate Drituriva, Vapate Drituriva, Apur Nute, Apur Nute, Vaksha Ustre Vavardyaham, Vaksha Ustre Vavardyaham, Jyotir Vishwasmai, Jyotir Vishwasmai, Uvana Yatrinvati Uvana Yatrinvati Kavu Navrajam Kavu Navrajam Yusha Avartama Yusha Avartama Pratyati Pratyati Rusha Darshya Adarshi Rusha Darshya Adarshi 
विशिष्टते for being here for this Rig Veda class. Um, we hope to see you again. Thank you.